and Splashdown, Crew 9, back on Earth. Bragan had an on-time Splashdown. Oh, it looks like we're getting our next crew member here. That is none other than Sonny Williams. Big smile, big waves. After nine months in space, astronaut Sunita Williams and Bitch Wilmore are finally back on Earth. But did you know that after spending so many months in space, astronauts struggle to walk, feel dizzy, and even lose bone and muscle strength? Now, moments after their capsule splashed down off the Florida coast, Williams and Wilmore were placed on reclining stretchers. Why? Because their bodies are struggling to adjust to Earth's gravity. Let me just show you what liquids look like up here. Now, every month in space, astronauts lose about 1% of their bone density. Their muscles weaken, their spines elongate, and they even develop baby feet, losing the thick calluses needed for walking. But astronauts work out for two hours a day. But gravity-free conditions means their bones and muscles still deteriorate. That's why rehab starts immediately after landing. Things we also do is we exercise. We have some exercise equipment on board the space station. Um, we need to do that because we lose bone density and muscle mass while we're up here. And that's a result of not having to fight against gravity. So how we keep ourselves in shape are with a bike, a treadmill, and a weightlifting machine. In space, fluids shift upwards, making astronauts' heads puffy while their legs shrink. This can lead to increased pressure in the brain, affecting vision, hearing, and even balance. Water. Ooh. A big bubble. And that's just by surface tension. And then you can drink it. In space, there's no gravity pulling them down. Their bones weaken, muscles shrink, and even their heart changes shape. And here's a fun fact. Astronauts grow taller in space by nearly two inches. But once back on Earth, gravity pulls them back to size. Now, many astronauts experience blurred vision and even permanent eye damage due to a condition called space flight associated to neuroocular syndrome. Some have reported never fully recovering from their eyesight. In just nine months, Williams was exposed to radiation levels equivalent to 270 chest X-rays. Now, this increases the risk of cancer, degenerative diseases, and long-term DNA changes. Now, despite advancements in space medicine, long-term missions, especially to Mars, pose significant unknowns. Can the human body truly withstand years in deep space? Scientists are exploring rotating spacecraft and nuclear propulsion to mimic Earth's gravity and reduce radiation exposure. But these technologies are still years away. The dream of space exploration comes at a cost. But with every mission, we get one step closer to understanding how to survive and thrive beyond Earth. This year, I have the unique opportunity to celebrate Diwali from 260 miles above the Earth on the ISS. On this day, I specifically think about my father who immigrated to the U.S. from India. He kept and shared his cultural roots by teaching us about Diwali and other Indian festivals. Follow more story for more updates.